A Fresno woman now says she wants to meet with deputies in the state of Florida to apologize. That is after her son, a former Fresno State student, was killed in a shootout while trying to kill deputies in Florida. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Alessio shares what one Florida sheriff is saying about that shootout and the impact his time at Fresno State had on his state of mind. Sophia? Liz and Monty, 26-year-old Karen Campbells, who went by KMAC Elbay, claimed that he was part of a Moorish sovereign citizen. And when deputies from Polk County approached him Saturday, he told them that it was his right to not give them his identification. And sheriffs say that KMAC was radicalized while he was here at Fresno State. Just after midnight Saturday, 26-year-old Karen Cables, who went by KMAC Elbay, was approached by deputies just outside of Tampa, Florida. They were looking for burglars at a park, and since KMAC Elbay was at the park after hours, deputies asked him to show his ID, but he refused. That's when Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said a deputy noticed KMAC was dressed in an all-white religious outfit and called for backup when he wasn't cooperating. His car started rolling, they grabbed the window, and all of a sudden, he started shooting. Judd said KMAC fired five rounds, hitting two different deputies, leaving both in critical condition. KMAC Elbay was also shot and died at the scene. Judd says KMAC identified himself as a Moorish sovereign citizen, a group Judd says typically refuses to obey laws and government regulations. They're dangerous, and you don't know when. And he apparently was radicalized while he was a student at Fresno State. He even carried around an ID card stating in part, Any violation of my rights, well-being, or property is your express agreement to be held officially and privately liable for $750,000 for each violation of the bearer's rights in each capacity. When Polk County Sheriff deputies contact KMAC Elbay's mother in Fresno, she said she hadn't seen him in three years since he left college, and they only spoke seldomly. But she says, she doesn't know who this KMAC Elbay is, but that's who he goes by now. She wants to meet with the deputies and apologize for her son shooting them. Judd says the most senseless part about this, deputies were just looking for teenage burglars, not him. He was not a target. He was not a problem until he made himself a problem. Judd added if KMAC Elbay had cooperated, the most he would have received was just a citation for being at the park after hours. He says both deputies shot have a long recovery ahead of them. Liz and Monty. All right, thank you, Sophia. Now, this is not the first time Polk County Sheriff says he's dealt with people claiming to be sovereign citizens. Yeah, he says the law enforcement often arrests more sovereign citizens, but don't like to publicize it because they don't want to market it for them.